This thing is massive. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. Look at it. It takes up so much room. I can't get it all in the camera unless I like really pull it back. Then I go back with it. Look at that. That's like up against my head. It's, it's massive. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the DM side. Today on the channel we are unboxing the Curse of Stride revamp set. So hit that thumbs up like button down below and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and let's take this down to the camera table so we can get into it. I mean look at this thing is massive. So let's take it down. Alright so here it is. It's too big even for the table camera. The Curse of Stride revamp set where they have done some erratas of the book they have changed the pacing of it in some areas, and there are a bunch of extra goodies in here. Now, I actually don't know what comes in here apart from the book itself. I'm assuming there's a map in there, and uh, I do believe there are, is a tarot card set. So, this thing is huge. It's amazing. It's still all sealed up. It's in the shape of a coffin. I just didn't think it'd be that big. On the back, it has the coffin components, but we're not going to read that because we're obviously going to crack into it. But let's have a look at what is just here. So... Under the raging storm clouds, the vampire Count Strahd von Zarevich stands silhouetted against the ancient walls of Castle Ravenloft. Rumbling thunder pounds the castle spires. The winds howling increase as he turns his gaze down toward the village of Barovia. Far below, yet not beyond his keen eyesight, a party of adventurers has just entered his domain. Strahd's face forms the barest hint of a smile as his dark plan unfolds. He knew they were coming, and he knows why they came, all according to his plan. A lightning flash rips through the darkness, but Strahd is gone. Only the howling of the wind fills the midnight air. The, the master of the castle Ravenloft is having guests for dinner, and you are invited. So, apart from that, the sides of it has just got these nice patterns on there for the coffin. I do believe it's in the style of the uh, the Ravenloft, uh, not Ravenloft, book, sorry, the Tome of Strahd. And there's nothing really else there. So, because we really need to get into this, let's get our trusty handy-dandy knife out. I'm going to very slowly dissect this one open. Let's get in under here. Beautiful, that should be enough. Might give it another rip if we need it. Ooh, opening up this fresh box. It's seriously, it's huge. Now, I ran the original Curse of Strahd when it was released for Dungeons & Dragons 5e, and it was one of the best campaigns that I've ever run. Everyone agreed that it was by far the most enjoyable, there was so much to do, and yet it was really easy for an early DM uh, book to run. So, if you've already run your starter story for your, t your group, I would highly suggest that you consider running Curse of Strahd oh, afterwards because it's definitely very forgiving but it's and it's also very fun and it does kind of as a DM push you to really consider what comes next in your journey. So we have to slide off this side bit here. Oh and look at that. Underneath is this ornate picture. Oh, let's get that. I don't want to rip it. I really don't want to ruin it. Shake, shake, shake. I'm sorry, the camera's shaking. And a big one. There it is. So, there we go. We've gotten rid of that. That's probably a nice, nice little poster art with the back on there. Quite like that. Put that down to the side. And here it is. Ah, oh, this is great. And it's, ooh, it's like engraved into the actual coffin itself. The Dungeons and Dragons sign. Yes, there's a lot of texture there. Especially, oh, even around here, actually. Wow. So, we've got this, looks like a, uh, a raven, I assume, for raven loft. And then obviously we have the castle in the background there. This is beautiful. Already, this is just a very stunning box that I really didn't think I was gonna was gonna be that great. I just thought it was gonna be a picture, very small, the book would be in there, and that's it. But let's lift off, let's open the coffin and see what comes out. Up we go. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Wow! I didn't think that was gonna happen either. Here we have Strad. Strahd himself sleeping in the coffin. That's amazing. I mean, it's just a picture, but that's really cool. Really gives you a good image of Strahd uh, in his coffin sleeping. Look, can you see the dirt? He's been buried. He's got that purplish glow of a dead person. Glow, that purple. He's even got his claws here clutching onto his sword. Let's have a flip over, see what's underneath. Oh, cool. So you get Strahd's stat block 
on the back of this picture. So there it is, everything that Strahd can do. Obviously, he's a vampire, has all the vampire um, stat blocks, but then also he gets things such as his legendary actions. And later on, he has lair actions. Now, I don't think the lair actions are on here. No, they aren't. Legendary resistance, legendary actions, no lair actions, but definitely a really, really cool uh, stat block and kind of artwork piece. Oh, very crisp. Look at that. I'm going to put this over to the side here. We're already running out of room on the table. So let's start with the... Oh, I love it when they have these little tags in here so we, it's easy enough to rip anything. So here we are. We have the tarot card deck. It looks like there's um, postcards. That's cool. Death House is a dark fixture in the village of Barovia. It has been burned to the ground more than once, only to rise from the ashes time and again by its own will. Locals give the house a wide berth for fear of antagonizing the spirits that haunt it. I actually ran the uh, death house in when I started the campaign. It's like a introductory uh, story for new players and a great way to get your players from level 1 to 3 before they really get into Barovia. Now, I set up that they came across death house on their way, walking through a misty forest. And then once the events of death house had come out, I actually had them walk out and they were automatically transported into the village of Barovia. Now, the tarot card deck, I did know we we're going to get. I didn't know we we're going to get these. Ri wow, look at these. There's like old school postcards. I don't know if I ever want to use them, but they're very cool. Oh, now I need to open this. I love that everything is so neatly packaged as well, but I am afraid of accidentally cutting the product when I open up all of this plastic. Obviously, I'll be recycling it, putting it into any soft plastics where possible, but wow, let's get this. Look at this. Oh, we'll definitely flick through these, see if they're any different. Maybe they're not. So here we are. We have, welcome to Barovia. Wish you weren't here. That's very nice, very funny. It's got that very classic uh, holiday text from maybe something like out of the 80s, maybe early 90s or late 70s, somewhere around there. Got a little crop there, Castle Ravenloft, and then obviously the carriage that would take you there. Let's see, are they any different? No. 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 Oh, yes. Okay, great. So then we have the uh, old bone grinder, the um, the windmill, and in here there are some witches who have been uh, chopping up some children and making them into very disturbing pastries for the townsfolk. And we get three of those. Ooh, St. Markatov, a very, very beautiful abbey. The Abbey of St. Markatov, the best care this side of uh, Balinox. So the uh, Balinox are the mountains, the mountains of Balinox. Obviously, they can't. you can't even get to those mountains except a very small portion of them if you have uh, the Black Robe Mage as your companion. You can still go and see the crazy mage up on the mountain, and it turns out that it is a, a very well-known D&D lore character. And obviously in here, there is a very interesting abbot. So I don't want to give away too much in case people are watching it and they have never run it. Oh, here we go, the Death House. And look, there we are, we have Rose and, no, sorry, Rose and Thorn. They are unfortunately dead characters, but they're definitely a lot of fun to, to play around with, having them appear and reappear out the front and inside the house. So spend a night in Death House. Stay as long as you like, longer even. This one completely changed when I ran it. Um, it's very cool and you have like ghouls and I think a vampire spawn at one point, but I just, it mine turned into a, a baby, <laughs> saving a baby that was being sacrificed. And then we go back to Barovia. So we have obviously some little texts for each one. I'm sure there's, yeah, the Abbey, tells you about the Abbey. And then if we were to go further, Old Bone Grinder, and then I'm guessing Castle Ravenloft. Enter at your own peril. Those are really cool. Um, I love that I get three because now I can, kind of, I can stick uh, one of each up and then I can actually use some of them. Maybe invite my uh, characters back to Barovia. Ooh, comes off the top. Oh, these are much bigger than I thought they would be. What's on the back here? Illustrated by Chuck Lucas. Thanks, Chuck. Very happy to have your product here. These are actually huge. I thought they were just going to be like regular playing card size. So I'm very happy to have a large packet, large card size. Makes it obviously... Bit easy to read, a little bit harder to shuffle to be fair. So let's have a look. I'm just, I feel like these are going to just be, if I can open it, there we go. I feel like these are going to be um, just the pictures from the actual book. What I really wanted when I first started playing this game, 
um, Critical Role had released their tarot card set and I was just about to run Curse of Strahd. So I actually really wanted those cards. But here we go, the Artifact. Then we have the Beast. Ah, oh, beautiful. I love it printed on these big cards. You can really see the artwork. Broken One, I believe that is if you get um, the Mad Mage up on the hill. Then we have the Dark Lord. Very, very cool. From the Donjon, we have the Seer. Looks like uh, this actually reminds me, now that I'm running Waterdeep, this reminds me of Xanathar, the tattoos of his uh, eyes on his head. So that's really cool. We have a Ghost, the Executioner. We have the Horseman. We have Innocent, followed by Marionette. It's like a puppet lady. Very cool. Then we have the Mists. After the Mists, we have the Ravens. We have the Tempter. There's the wizard, very important character, should you pull the, pull this card. The transmuter, we have the diviner, Madam Eva herself. Enchanter, followed by the abjurer. And then we have the elementalist, really big fan of these. The artwork is beautiful. Evoker, the illusionist, wow, have a look at that. That's very cool, very demonic on one side. The necromancer, well, I mean, pretty, pretty stock standard for a necromancer. The conjurer, the warrior, We'll flick through them very quickly. Avenger, we have the Paladin, very nice artwork for a Paladin. Soldier, the Mercenary, followed by the Miri, uh, Mirimedon, very cool. A Berserker, I see some little heads rolling there from the Berserker. The Hooded One, the Dictator, we have the Torturer, the Rogue, very cocky Rogue. Swashbuckler, one of my favorite uh, Rogue classes to take. The Philanthropist, the Trader, the Merchant, we have the Guild Member. The Beggar, the Thief, Tax Collector, the Miser, the Priest, the Monk, the Missionary, Healer, Shepherd, Druid, Anarchist, oh my goodness, there's so many, the Charlatan, the Bishop, and finally the Traitor. Now I will be posting pictures of all of this throughout the week or up on the DM side Instagram, so if you would like some a closer view of each of these cards. Uh, I'll take individual photos of all the cards and slowly but surely upload them to the uh, to the page. So be sure to go and follow the Instagram DM side 641. I'm going to leave that out. I wonder if there's anything underneath all of this. But here it is, the main event, the Curse of Strahd revamped. I really like that they have that on the book, so there's definitely no mistake. Oh, do you get the... Oh, you get the screen! That's great. I mean, I don't even know why I thought you wouldn't get the screen, but I just, I assumed it was just the book. Oh, look, it's already tearing on the side. I won't need the, uh, the knife. Let's pull it right up. Beautiful, pull that off. Very smooth. And there's something else in there as well, actually, that isn't just this, the DM screen. So uh, let's leave the book. Oh, that's a little upsetting. It's not a hard cover. It's actually a bendable book. Um, I actually do prefer the hardcover for all my books, but there it is. We will have another couple of videos where we go over the changes in the revamped version from the original version. Uh, but here it is. And I'll flick just really quickly through it. Obviously, there'll be some differences in there. I, yeah, I'm a little upset. I, I was expecting a hard copy. I would have preferred to pay extra to get a hard copy. I wonder if they'll release a hard copy version of the book as a standalone book because obviously people won't want to get this whole collection they'll just want to get the module to run Ooh, creatures of horror again not hard copy but what's in here ah okay so the abbot oh okay i wonder if that's in the book then so this looks like to be a book of all the specific npcs and monsters and characters that are in the curse of strat there he is strat von Zarevich again his stat block obviously you get Things such as his lair actions in this one, if you can see that. Ah, oh, Valamir Horngard, one of the best characters, I think, in this gothic horror story. That's really cool. Oh, we're ravens. Okay. All right, cool. I like that. Obviously, that, that way you can have your storybook going, as well as have your monsters up on the side, should you not have D&D Beyond. Then we have a tarot card deck. Now, we have the deck, so this... Okay, so this will explain what all the cards mean. So Master of the Wizards, Mystery and Riddles, The Unknown, Those Who Crave Magical Power and Great Knowledge. Master of Sards card, so when you pick it, name. Interesting. Okay, so this is, yep. Yeah, so this will have all the pictures of the cards when you pick them, so you know what you've got. 
and it will tell you what happens when they have their tarot card reading. Oh, this is cool. Oh, great. So this is all in the, I remember in the original book, this is all in the book and you would photocopy it and then you would send that to your friends or if you had D&D Beyond, you download the images, but here they've got to print it out. So you have a ex excerpt from the Tome of Strahd. Note to self and to everyone, this is very difficult to read for some people. So I would always recommend having a typed out copy of it, even if you give them these pages. So that's really cool. So they've got that. Um, Journal of Rudolf van Richten, Rictavio's character. So that's part of his book, Kalyana um, in Indirovich's letter, which is very cool. Strad's invitation for the characters. Some more letters. Journals of Argensvost, which is a dragon. Oh, very happy to have this. One thing I do love about D&D is having good maps. And I'm assuming this is going to be way too big. Oh, it's got a very glossy texture. In the uh, original book, when I got it, the actual map wasn't this glossy, shiny... I think you could draw on this, actually, and rub it out. It's like a it's like a plastic top opposed to the just paper one. Uh, I can't open it up, but there's the castle on one side, and then there's the whole map of Barovia plus the um, the villages on the other. So that's very cool. And what is? Oh, this is really cool. It's like oh wow, this is different. I I had I have the um, original DM screen. But this one is a themed one specifically for the revamp. So we've got, just like, it's got all the postcards in it. Cool, so I don't know if you can see it there. There we go, the Abbot. Then we've got Old Bone Grind, the Windmill. And then if I turn it over, we have um, Death House with Rose and Thorn at the front. And if I flip it over, Castle Ramble. That's a really cool DM screen. I actually really, really like that. Hardcover as well. Well, not hardcover, but not plastic. Whoop. A coffin case is coming down. Better watch out. So, let me put this to the side. I don't think there's anything else in there. I don't know why they... I mean, they could hide more things underneath. I am really upset that that's just not a hardcover. But that's fine. If they come out with a hardcover one, I think I'll get it just because it's a preference. Let me see. Are there any hidden secrets underneath? This is what happens when you play too much D&D. You assume that every box has a... Uh, <laughs> A hidden compartment with extra goodies under there. So the rogue inside me. All right, so no, there's no no extra goodies. Let's make sure this is all still usable because I'm going to put it all back in here. It's very, very nice, very cool. So I think we'll start with the tarot card deck book because I've obviously got the tarot cards, the creatures. Uh, let's throw the map and the letters on top. Put them in nice and neat so they're safe. I'm actually going to put the book uh, next. And finally, my favorite, probably the best quality thing in the book is actually that DM screen. Then let's place the tarot cards there. And the postcards can go back on top like that and keep it nice and neat. And then we'll put uh, put old Strahd, good old Strahd, back to his slumber. Very beautiful artwork. And finally, we'll slowly, very quietly without waking him, put his coffin lid back on that is just a nice quick unboxing so that is the unboxing for today comment down below what your thoughts are on the strad revamp set uh, it's got a lot of um differences from some people some people saying that it's really calmed down the actual story making it almost easier some saying that they actually love the differences uh, i will be reading through it finding all the differences and then we'll do a video to talk about what those differences are for anyone who would rather not do all that reading themselves but like this video, subscribe, join the DM site Instagram to keep up to date with pictures from all the uh, products that we've been opening. And I will see you in the next video.